In this video, we're going to give you our bare minimum guide of tools and equipment we believe you need to get started with wood carving and hand carving Welsh with spoons. If we start off by looking at what we sort of feel is the, the bare minimum that you can actually get away with, uh, let's just go down, down, the, uh, down the line. We've got that one there, one fingernail gouge like so, two, just like so, two different shaped ones, a third one, that's going to be for doing our bowl, and that one there okay so I think that is sort of the bare minimum in terms of gouges four different curved shaped gouges now for this demonstration I'm going to use a clamp because we always mention to you you can use a clamp and I'm always using a vice so I think it's useful for you to be able to see that the other thing then for cutting out, we've got the coping saw. So that's another thing, but you can pick one of those up relatively cheaply. Um, an optional sandpaper and block. It's not essential. If you don't want to use a sandpaper and block, that's fine. And if you haven't got a sandpaper and block, don't worry about it. But most people have got that sort of thing lying around. So to show you what can be done with just a few gouges. So let's start off where we're marking out, we're marking out a simple design, one that we've shown you before, just like so. And we do all of the stop cuts. So this is one sort of style of carving then that can be done just using two gouges. And don't forget, I mean, this, this, can be used for decorating your love spoons. You can use it on key rings. You can use it on letter openers. Make a fridge magnet. You can do all sorts with it. So that is just simply using uh, two gouges. I know we've used a mallet. You don't necessarily need a mallet starting off. Let me just show you something. That's one of my carving blocks. Okay, so it's just a lump of wood still do the same job. So you don't need to go and make or buy a mallet necessarily. Nice little project for you to have a look at if you fancy having a go at making a mallet, but it's not sort of an essential piece of equipment. And that's the idea for this is we're really looking at wood carving essentials, what we would sort of recommend. So as you can see, we started building up the process there. This gouge then is just for taking out the bowl. Now I know on this example, it's it's a love spoon that I picked up that I'm that I'm working on, um, and on, and on this this particular example, as you can see, I have already started the bowl in next door using using a router and a template as we do. I will demonstrate for you to see though that you don't need. Let's have a little block of wood. Just change a piece of wood. There we are. So if you're going to just use the gouge for doing a bowl, you just carve it out from scratch. Mark it out. Mark out like an oval shape with a pencil. Okay. And just carve it in like so. You'll see that we've got other videos that we've done where we've demonstrated carving a bowl. But it's just to show you, you need one curved gouge for cutting out the bowl.
you can see how we can do things like the flower, you can see how we can carve out a bowl. And then in, in terms of doing different shapes, we use our um, our carving, our, our gouge to do the bowl. So you can see just like that, that was the gouge, the same gouge we used for doing the bowl. We're still using our block of wood for doing, you know, just a bit of an extra pressure on the top there. So we just do that curved shape just like so. So, so far we've only used three gouges. This is the fourth one. So this one then can be used for cutting out the top of that shape, just like so. So where we've done that stock cut, you're cutting into that edge and we then just redo our stop cuts, just like so. Same again on the other side. And then let's, let's just do a little bit more, last one, last cut in like that. And the point of what we're sort of getting at, point of demonstrating this to you, is that, you know, equipment and things like that, it can get really expensive. And there, there is, you know, there's good kit out there, but you don't need to sort of spend an absolute fortune on equipment. You know, the woods, try and find some old furniture that somebody's throwing away. Um, find a, a, a carpentry joinery firm and, and ask them if you can have their offcuts for, you know, your wood carving projects. Keep your costs down because it makes it more sustainable. And as you build up your skills, um, then you can look to invest more. And if you're looking to get into it sort of as, as a, a form of work, you know, you, you, you've got plenty of time to, to sort of acquire equipment as you're going along. So with this example, so you, you can see we're using this gouge, we're just building up that shape, just like so. There we are. And so that's just two, two different styles of love spoon. And all of that has been done using just four curved gouges. Here we are. So that's the minimum that you can get away with. We go back to this one, so you can see that one finished off. But all of these just simple little little skills. And it it's not then a process. For those who enjoy the tools, by all means, if you've got the budget and you've got the interest, you know, there's nothing wrong with you sort of collecting tools. But you do not need the tools. The tools will not make you a, be a better wood carver. Of course, having more choice and having more selection gives you more options. Having better quality tools, again, that will help too. Um, but ultimately, the process of, of developing as a wood carver, it's not down to the accumulation of equipment and it's not down to sort of thinking that you're not able to do the job because of a lack of tools, it's basically spending that time to develop your craft. Because there's nothing in, in wood carving that is, is beyond any person. It is just a matter of dedicating enough time to hone your skill and your craft. So there we are. Hopefully some of those ideas will be useful. That is our sort of bare essentials that we would uh, suggest you need. So that's your coping saw for cutting out, your clamp for holding things down, and then just a small selection of curved fingernail gouges or wood carving chisels, whatever you want to call them. As always, thank you again for watching. Uh, we hope that little guide will be useful. If you've got any requests, put them in the comments section below. And as always, we'll be back again soon with more videos. Thank you all again.